In August 2020, a very serious fish kill took place at Fleet Pond. Many thousands of fish were killed during the incident. The fish deaths were linked to the crash of a bloom of blue-green algae and low concentrations of dissolved oxygen in the lake water. Hart District Council, in collaboration with the Fleet Pond Society, organised for a fish survey to take place in October 2021. The purpose of the survey was to gain a better understanding of current fish stocks in the lake, species composition and condition of the fish. This information can be used to advise and inform on the future management of the lake. A range of fish capture methods was used by the survey team. Electrofishing uses a modified electric current to attract and momentarily stun fish close to the probes. This enables them to be caught with a hang net and transferred to tanks of oxygenated water to recover. Sane or encircling nets are set in a semicircle. This isolates an area of water the ends of the net are then drawn back to the bank, where the catch can be removed. Fike, or funnel nets, are a type of static trap. They're set in groups along the bed of the lake, and have guards at the mouth of the net to prevent the entry of otters and waterfowl. The processing team identified the species of fish caught and measured the fork length that's measured from the tip of the snout to the fork of the tail. They also assess the general condition of the fish and look for evidence of disease or parasites. Perch 17.3. 57. In some cases, they will also remove a scale from the flank of the fish to determine its age. A replacement scale will grow back in the same position. Once processed, the fish are returned to the water. A total of nine species was caught by the survey team. Perch were the most numerous. Other species included roach, Rudd, Bream, Carp, and a small number of Pike, Gudgeon, Dace, and Ruff. Not surprisingly, the number of fish caught during the survey was much lower than on previous occasions. Dr. Ian Watson, a fishery scientist, We'll be writing a report on the findings of the survey and this will be submitted to Hart District Council.